good morning students so in the previous class we have started a new chapter which is moments skewness and kurtosis mm, so we have learned uh, what are the moments in the past um, we learned the ordinary moments about any origin then um, moment about zero and moment about arithmetic mean moment about zero are called the uh, raw moments and moments about arithmetic mean is called the central moments and how to find the raw moments and central moments okay now today we will find a relation between central and non central moment okay central and non central moment So central moments are the moments about arithmetic means and non-central moments is about anything other than the arithmetic mean. okay so it can be zero or anything we can take any values as the origin okay now we have learned the non-central moment about any origin let's say a is the has the formula 1 by n summation xi minus a whole to the power r this is the rth non-central moment r equals to 0 1 2 3 up to anything now so in the previous class we have learned uh, if we put r equals to 1 then mr dash a equals to x bar minus a mr1 sorry m1 dash a that is first non-central moment about a second non-central moment about a is given as so we can write as 1 by n summation x i minus a whole square okay and if we put the values we will get a relation but uh, that is not important now central moments are is about mr of x bar that is we simply noted as mr okay which is the formula 1 by n summation x i minus x bar whole to the power r r equals to 0 1 2 3 now we have to find the <laughs> relation between central and non-central moment okay so if you take the central moment fr that means first central moment f1 equals to which is already i have already discussed um, this part first central moment is always zero okay <coughs> and second first non-central moment is always x bar minus a okay so there is no uh, need the relation between the first central and non central moment now second m2 m2 equals to 1 by n summation i equals to 1 to n this is always same x i minus x bar the whole square okay now we will write it in this form x i minus a plus a minus x bar we can write it as in this form okay if we adjust this in this type so x i minus a one part plus a minus x bar this is part so this is a and this is b so in this part it can be written as a plus b the whole square so if you put the formula of a plus b whole square we will get a square that means x i minus a whole square plus 2 x i minus a into a minus x bar plus a minus x bar whole square okay 
so 1 by n if you take the sum for the um, three terms we will get 1 by n summation x i minus a whole square plus 2 is a constant so 1 by n summation 2 into x i minus a a minus x plus 1 by n summation a minus x bar whole square okay these are the total term now 1 by n summation x i minus a whole square first term plus here 2 and a minus x bar is the constant a is a fixed value and x bar also a fixed value so a minus x bar is a fixed value so 2 into a minus x bar can be taken out from the summation sign so we will get 2 into a minus x bar into summation x i minus a here power is 1 okay <laughs> plus 1 by n here a minus x bar also constant so it will be, can be taken out from the <coughs> summation side this part is the non-central moment about a second non-central moment as the power is 1 square so 1 by a n summation x i minus a whole square is the non-central moment about a second non-central moment so m2 dash a plus if we take this part different and 1 by n summation x i minus a whole, uh, whole square it will be also the first non-central moment about a so m1 dash a <coughs> plus 1 by n a minus x r, x bar whole square and summation 1 means n ok up to n times so n n will be cancelled out so we get m2 dash a plus 2 into here we see that m1 dash a equals to x bar minus a so a minus x bar into x bar minus a plus a minus x bar whole square so m2 dash a plus now if we use uh, take, in, take out the minus from here we will get a minus x bar whole square and plus a minus x bar whole square so we get minus a minus x bar whole square also a minus x bar whole square can be written as x bar minus a bar whole square so m2 dash a x bar minus a means m1 dash about a per whole square ok so this is the for, um, relation <coughs> this is central moment and these are the non central moments ok <coughs> so this is the relation between central and non central moment for second central and non central moments ok similarly in similar way the third central moment can be used as third central moment m3 can be written as uh, the relation between third central and non central moment is m3 dash a minus 3 m2 dash a into m1 dash a plus 2 m1 dash cube of a ok so third moment about non central moment about a minus 3 into second non central non central moment into first non central moment plus 2m1 cube a ok and so on these two part will be uh, used to calculate some of the example and for the first and non central moment x bar minus a and m1 is always 0 <coughs> also we have learned the m2 is uh, in the previous class m2 is the variance of the distribution ok so this are the two relation we need to follow and other we don't need
uh, or not very important okay other relation so let us do an example such as the first example is given as it is given that first two moments about one that is non central moments are given as 2 and 25 okay about one so it is given first two non central moment so first m1 dash a equals to give a means here one so m1 dash one is given two and m2 dash of a equals to 25 it is given so find out the arithmetic mean and standard deviation of the distribution okay so we know m1 dash about 1 equals to x bar minus 1 so this is given equals to 2 so x bar equals to 3 okay now <coughs> also you know that m2 dash of 1 m2 dash of 1 is given as now as we have the first and second non central moment so m2 that means the central moment is equals to by using the formula we will get m2 dash of 1 minus m1 dash square okay of 1 whole square this is what we have learned before so m2 equals to m2 dash of a minus m2 dash m1 dash of a whole square here a equals to 1 this is given about the 1 okay so using this formula we will get this so m1 dash is given which is m2 dash of 1 given 25 minus this is given 2 so 2 whole square so 24 minus 2 which is 21 so m2 is we know sigma square that is the variance okay so variance is 21 that means sd equals to root under sigma square okay so root under 21 or whatever be the value it, it will be 4.58 okay so here the second center relation is required to find the variance okay now for another example it is given that first three the first three moments of distribution about the value is three okay about three is given as 2 10 and 30 2 10 30 this is the first moments about three this is second moments about three this is third moment about three find out the first three moments about zero that means find the raw moments okay now we have the relation for central and non-central but we don't have the raw moments okay the relation between raw moments now as it is given so we have m1 dash 3 equals to 2 this is given m2 dash 3 equals to 10 this is given m3 dash 3 because of 30 so you have to find the raw moments that means m1 dash about 0 m2 dash about 0 m3 dash about 0 so about 0 is a, is at the cent, uh, raw moments okay now if we use the formula m1 dash 3 2 so we have m1 dash 3 2 means x bar minus a equals to 2 a means here 3 okay so x bar equals to 2 plus 3 equals to 5 now x bar is the formula we have xi minus n okay 
this is 5 now first raw moment formula using the formula we will get xi whole to the power 1 that means this so 1 by n xi equals to 5 this is the first raw moment that means m1 dash 0 equals to 5 ok now second raw moment to find the second raw moment we will use this formula ok so this formula has the formula 1 by n summation xi minus 3 whole square equals to 10 ok now if we use the formula a minus b whole square we will get xi square minus um, 6 xi plus 9 equals to 10 so we have 1 by n summation xi square minus 6 by n summation xi plus 9 by n summation 1 equals to 10 ok so this is the second raw moment that is m2 dash 0 minus 6 into the value summation xi by n which is 5 so 6 into 5 plus 9 by n into summation 1 means n equals to 10 so m2 dash 0 that is the second raw moment equals to 10 no, 9 9 is cancelled out this will be minus 9 and this will be plus 30 so 40 minus 9 which is 31 so second raw moment is 31 <coughs> similarly third raw moment and to use this formula we will find the third raw moment as third raw moment has the formula 1 by xi cube ok now m3 dash 3 equals to 30 it is given m3 dash 3 equals to 30 so is the formula summation 1 by n summation <coughs> xi minus 3 whole cube so we have the formula 1 by a minus b whole cube a minus b whole cube has the formula a cube minus 3 a square b b means 3 plus 3 a b square so xi into 3 square minus 3 cube on a b cube ok equals to 30 so taking the 1 by n and summation for each of the term we will get 1 by n summation xi cube <coughs> and taking out the common uh, fixed numbers so 3 into 3 9 which is fixed so minus 9 by n summation xi square 3 square 9 into 3 27 plus 27 by n summation xi 3 cube and that means 27 so minus 27 by 9 summation 1 equals to 30 so this is the third row moment so m3 dash 0 minus 9 into 1 by n summation xi square this is the second row moment m2 dash 0 plus 27 into this is the first row moment so m1 dust 0 minus this is 27 by n into n equals to 30 so m3 dust 0 minus 9 into m2 dust 0 which we have find 31 so 31 plus 27 into m1 dust 0 which we have find 5 27 into 5 minus 27 equals to 30 now we have to calculate m3 dust 0 equals to so 30 if we take this term in this part so plus 9 into 31 7 um, plus 27 <coughs> and minus 5 into 27 5 into 7 35 5 into 7 135 okay if we add this we will get 201 Okay. 
so third row moment above third row moment is 201 second row moment is 31 first row moment is 5 so in this way we can find if one moment is given we can find the other moments okay about from any origin okay okay that's it for today uh, next in the next class we will be explain the next topics cuneus kartosis okay okay that's it for today thank you